Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome to our presentation here from Raha Gardens campus. My name is Eileen Butler and I am the head of Early Years here. I come from Ireland and I've been part of the Raha International School community since 2008, quite a long time. Um, and I've been working in Early Years for all of that time, mostly working as a grade one teacher and then moving into pastoral care. Now we had hoped that we would be able to have you all in having a nice little walk around the campus but unfortunately the way things are at the moment we've not been able to do that. I do hope that this will give you a good insight into how life at Raha Gardens operates. We have the most incredible team of students, parents and teachers here at Raha International School. It's a very unique school. We started off with Gardens Campus and then almost two years ago we opened up a second campus on KCC. We have a global community here at Raha International Schools with children from over 80 different countries and they speak over 30 different languages. It's so lovely to hear our children speaking to each other about their languages, cultures and traditions. One of my favourite things to do is to recognise the different languages that are spoken in the school and we always try to make an effort to greet the children each morning in their different languages. In fact, our favourite time of the day is when we're standing at the gate, welcoming and greeting each of our children into school. It's so fabulous to see them running into school and they're so looking forward to continuing any projects that they've started the day before, meeting their friends. Our early years teaching staff join us from over 15 different countries and they bring a wealth of experience and knowledge that they're very eager to share with our community. Many of our teachers have been part of the community for over five years and have children attending here as well. In early years, we see every child has been capable, inquisitive and creative with the right to feel supportive in a safe, caring and nurturing environment. Our teaching and learning is fully child-driven with the child at the centre of what we do. The children's ideas and interests are respected and valued, leading the inquiries where our highly qualified teachers encourage and listen to the children's interests and use that to develop our lesson plans and use that to drive the learning. Our early years classrooms have been designed with the children at the very heart of what we do. Each classroom has access to an outdoor learning space, which is in itself an extension of our classrooms. We will go through some of those pictures with you in the next slides. We truly believe that school and learning is not standalone and we truly value the input from our parents. We truly believe that school and learning are not standalone. They shouldn't be standalone. We value our parents and we view them as partners in their children's education. We do provide some workshops, math workshops, language workshops, reading workshops for our parents, explaining the curriculum and giving the parents an insight into the way that we teach at Raha International School. Teachers are always available to speak to parents and to chat about any concerns that you may have. Hi everybody, my name is Miss Lisa and I am the Learning and Teaching Lead in EY1 here at Raha International School Gardens Campus. EY1 is really special and that's because the children begin their learning journey with us. Our job is to make sure that each and every child has a strong foundation so that they can go on to be future successful IB learners. We do that through developing all of the skills they need to learn how to learn independently and with confidence. We look forward to meeting you all and we'll see you very soon. Hello and thank you for taking the time to join our Gardens Campus Early Years Virtual Open Day. My name is Caroline and I'm the Learning and Teaching Lead for Early Years 2. We feel extremely privileged to watch the children grow and develop as independent learners through lots of fun and exciting activities. And we're looking forward to welcoming you to the early years too in the new academic year. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Hernandez-Stalda, the Grade 1 Learning and Teaching Lead. I've been at Raha for over six years now and both my children and my husband are part of the Raha community. We are delighted that Grade 1 is considered early years at Raha, which means that we follow a similar approach that gives students agency in their learning, whilst also maintaining academic rigour. Our learning environments cater to children's interests and needs, with opportunities for them to create, inquire, discover and be challenged. We also have a fantastic shared innovation hub, 
where children can practice woodwork, sewing, science experiments, construction, create puppet shows, and where technology is embedded throughout. Our teachers are all passionate and caring practitioners who put the children's needs first and promote a love of learning, curiosity, and empower students to take ownership of their learning. Hello, how are you? My name is Michael O'Gorman, and I am the Deputy Head of Early Years at Raha International School Gardens Campus. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the themes and values that we have here in Early Years Gardens Campus. I'm also going to delve a little deeper into some of the curriculum information that is also readily available on the Raha International School website. Thinking critically and asking questions, they are key to developing a child as an independent learner. It is so important that children learn to observe and question the world around them. Collaboration is a key value here in Raha. Children collaborating from different diverse backgrounds, sharing their cultural differences, is one of the standout benefits of an international school. Children learn about and share their individuality, their culture and their traditions from all over the world. Problem solving is one of the most important skills for your child to develop. Using creativity to solve problems is supported and encouraged in early years as a lifelong skill. In the IB curriculum, there are six transdisciplinary themes. Who we are, where we are in place and time, how we express ourselves, how the world works, how we organise ourselves and sharing the planet. Who we are is an inquiry into the nature of self, the beliefs and values, personal, physical, mental, social and spiritual health. Where we are in place and time is an inquiry into the orientation in place and time, where your child is as a member of the family community, the school community and the wider global community. How we express ourselves is an inquiry into the ways in which we discover and express ideas, how we express feelings, how we express our culture and beliefs and values. How the world works is an inquiry into the natural world and the laws that apply, the interaction between the natural world and human societies. How we organise ourselves is an inquiry into the interconnectedness of human-made systems and communities, the structure and function of organisations, societal decision-making, economic activities and the impact on humans. And finally, sharing the planet is an inquiry into the rights and responsibilities in the struggle to share finite resources, an issue I think we can all agree is extremely important moving forward. At the heart of everything we do here are the learner profiles. The learner profiles are 10 aspirational qualities that we try to develop and instill in each and every child. The learner profile unites us all with a common focus on the whole person as a lifelong learner. They are nurtured and promoted throughout all the units of inquiry. The profiles are to be an inquirer, to be knowledgeable, to be thinker, to be a good communicator, to be principled, to be open-minded, to be caring, to be a risk taker, to be balanced, and finally, to be reflective. Approaches to learning. The IB approaches learning as a set of strategies and skills, not merely content and knowledge that children engage with. These approaches are intrinsically linked with the IB learner profiles we have just discussed. There are five approaches to learning. Number one, thinking skills. We encourage children to think critically, to be creative and innovative, and to transfer their knowledge from subject area to subject area, and even to their own real lives. Number two, communication skills. It is important that children learn to communicate in a variety of ways. Number three, social skills. At the heart of every early year school is the development of social skills. It is so important that children learn how to create and nurture friendships and to resolve conflicts, to learn the skills to be able to be a member of the school society and society in the wider world. Number four, self-management skills. As you can imagine, when the children enter into early years, there is quite a lot of routines and self-management strategies that they need to learn. Learning these help the children become independent and to become independent learners in the classroom. 
And number five, research skills. This is an extremely important skill for children to learn, to be able to take information independently, to use that information and to transfer it to different areas of the curriculum. Everyone. My name is Jo McLeod and I am the Assistant Head of Early Years. I've worked at Raha since 2014, starting as a teacher in EY1, then in Grade 1. My husband also works at the school as a teacher in primary and my son is a student in Grade 8. We all love being a part of the Raha Gardens Campus community and can definitely say that it has fostered a love of lifelong learning and inquiry in all of us. So I'm going to go through some handy tips, tell you about how the school day runs and things like that. The school day begins at 7.45. For EY1s, the day finishes at 1pm, for EY2 at 2pm and for Grade 1 at 3pm. That's except for Fridays where everyone finishes at 12. Okay, so specialist classes that we have in Raha. For EY1, we have Arabic, PE, Library and Music. In EY2, they have the same classes, so Arabic, PE, Library, Music, plus the addition of Art. In Grade 1, students will have Arabic, PE, Library, Music, Art, Islamic Studies for our Muslim learners, UAE Social Studies, which will be split into non-native speakers and native speakers. Arabic. In EY1, Arabic is a mixed class, as studies have shown that our youngest learners learn best this way. For EY2, our native speakers, those are the students that have Arabic as their first language, they have Arabic twice a week, and for our non-native speakers, they have Arabic once a week. In Grade 1, our native speakers have Arabic six times a week, and for our non-native speakers, it is four times a week. PE is held twice a week for all of the grades. So EY1, EY2 and Grade 1, they all have PE twice a week. This will include two six-week swimming sessions for EY1 
and one six week period of swimming for EY2 and grade one. Class sizes in EY1 and EY2 are capped at 24 students. For grade one, it's 26 students. Every class has a highly qualified teacher who, who leads the learning and teaching. Every class in early years also has their own learning assistant. Buses are run by an outside provider called Seven Stars. Any questions about the bus service will be addressed by the admissions department once you have secured a place here at Gardens. Some expectations um, for our students before they start school. One of the biggest expectations is that they will be toilet trained before entering any of the grades. One of the key skills, as Mr. Mikey was talking about, was that we teach students in Raha how to be independent learners. We encourage them to use the bathroom independently and to be able to dress and undress themselves as well. This is particularly important when we have swimming classes. There will be people there to help students undress and dress, but if they know how to do things like unzipping uh, jackets, taking their shoes on and off, then this really helps. Over the summer, that's something that you can work on with your students, showing them how to do all of these things, getting them to become more independent. Also showing them how to open their school bags, open Tupperware that they may have in their bags for lunch, how to open their water bottles as well. All of these things are really good skills for any student to have before starting at the school. And finally, extracurricular activities. We have teacher-run ECPs that run throughout all three terms. EY1, however, do not have any ECPs in Term 1 as we feel they need this extra time to settle into the routines. We also offer ECPs run by outside providers, such as tennis, swimming, karate, ballet, and a lot more. Plus, our athletics team run clubs such as tri-club, basketball, football, rugby, and many, many more things. We've had some fantastic questions coming through in our chat function today. Uh, so thank you for sending them in. I think that myself, uh, Mr. Michael and Miss Jo have addressed most of them. Um, another one that's just after coming in is about how we do induction, how we make sure that your child is settled well into school. We always start the year off by sending out a, a video of the child's teacher, where they introduce the teacher and the learning assistant. They make little jokes, they read a story, they just bring across their softer side with the, with the students and with the parents. We also start each year with uh, a staggered start, which means that the children will come in for maybe on the first day for an hour, the second day an hour and a half, um, and then the third day, etc. going on for the end of the week. So it's a really, really nice. Yes, it's a little bit of a slow start to the year, but it's exactly what the children, especially in early years one and early years two need. It's a nice gentle start to the new year. Uh, there's another question about transferring from a British school. Okay, um, yeah, this can actually be very confusing when you're transferring from a British uh, school to an IB school. In Graha, we have EY1, EY2 and Grade 1. Grade 1 is actually the equivalent of Year 2 in a British system and EY2 is the equivalent of Year 1. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Um, anything else that we didn't get to answer today will be shared with the frequently asked questions which will be sent out to all of you um, after the, this recording. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. My email address should be on the screen now. So you can send the email to myself or to the other email to um, admissions. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today and we really look forward to chatting with you some more. Bye.